Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Finn and today as you can see I am in the umbilical tractor and as you may know from the heading of this video this is tips and tricks on the umbilical system moving around with pipes so what I have to do now I'm going through that gap there's a fence I can't do anything about and I'm just have a lot of piping to pull through so this is going to be maybe one or two tips per video I'll see how it works out with time and I hope you can hear me because I had the cameras in its old case on my gloves. Keep the old hands clean. So need to get me spanners. So now I have two options to get this pipe underneath that fence there and through into the next field. I can either go around and lay off a pipe under and hook it up to that and drag it out and then lay off my pipe or I drive across the pipe, push out some slurry, give it a hook on and pull it to there that I can throw that pipe out. Now and just by looking at the way that pipe is in the field, it isn't suitable. The easiest option would be to lay off a pipe, throw it under the fence, hook it up to that and then just pull the whole lot out. But the way that pipe is in the field, there's too many big bends in it and it'll go into a knot. So the only option I have is to um, drive a bit out and drag more pipe into the hedge, which I'll show you how to do now in a second. I just have to open this first. And the biggest problem with these kind of clips is you have to be right over them when you go to open them. Which you have to be just ready to run when they go to open. It's the one problem I have with these clips. They're great clips though for being able to roll them up in any direction. But you just have to be ready to go out of the way. That's the only problem with them. They've been caught out a couple of times. Particularly when there's air pressure on them. Because it's more likely to give a bit of a bounce out. So now I have that off. I'll be driving out slurry out of the pipe to make it easier to get a loop to pull. So I'll just kick it out straight. Back my spanners. Back into the tractor. So now. Fold up my arms, come out of the way. Now, sometimes instead of driving out slurry out of the pipe, you can get away with um, driving the slurry back. But the only problem is, it all depends on what way. If you're uphill from the pump, it can work a lot better. But if you're downhill, you're wasting your time. If you're below the level of the tank, you won't be able to drive it back in, but if you're above it, it's a lot, you'll be able to drive it back in and you won't end up leaving a puddle, which I'm going to end up leaving now. So, what we do is, we just drive out a couple of meters of piping. It's the only downside to doing it this way, just a little bit of a puddle, a slurry. So we drive out the piping right up. We go back, get ourselves off the pipe. We want to try and gauge it that will have enough, or that will pull enough pipe and to get it under. So maybe around there. Back out. Gloves. We want to pull back. It's just empty now. Pull back some of that. Throw a loop onto the wagtail. And that should, should pull it. I might just throw a second loop on it. Depends on how much. I have a good bit of pipe there. And with the weight of the slurry in it, sometimes it won't, it won't pull it. So you'd have to put a second loop on it. Just helps get it caught in it. Back into the tractor. And now we drive. See you catching. 
stand upon this. Yep. So then we just pull it up as far as we need to go. Now, if you pull too much, now as it is there, I'd imagine there might be a knot or two coming into it, but a knot or two isn't too bad. When you get pressure, it should blow it out. Or when you go to pull it, it'll blow it out. That's one other advantage when you do it this way, you get the twist out of it. If you do go on in, um, try, just pull in a bit of pipe. But you just want to avoid pulling too much. So, I'm a mess there with, with that, but sure. Can't really avoid it doing it this way. Now, take off a loop, do this job. Um, just have to drive the tractor out of the way. Should have enough. There to get that done. Maybe not. Mine have just pulled enough piping. Have enough. Oh. One thing also you always ought to make sure your pipe goes underneath any wires you go across or go to go through or anything. Always make sure it goes under. Because when you go to roll up, if it's across anything, there's a high chance of your clip getting caught. So when you go to roll. Just have to put a bit of that through. Go around, pull it out, hook it up, tell the boss, light me up, and just drag it out straight. And that's really it. That's one of my little tips or tricks for doing the job. Um, I'll have a look to see how long the video was in the end, and I'll see whether I'll put another one at the end of this or what I'll do. So um, I'll just leave it at that. So. That's it from me, please like and subscribe to my channel, if you have any comments or any ideas you want to see videos on, please hit me down in the comments down below, that's it from me, good luck!